I stopped riding SE bikes? <sighs> First of all, what's happening YouTube? If you read the caption, you already know what this video is about. Why did I stop riding SE bikes? Here. So, why did I stop riding SE bikes? First of all, when I ride, I do my tricks, I'll crash. My fork cracked and my frame cracked. And I asked for a new bike and y'all know Todd. He said no. I'm just playing, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. <laughs> I know I got some of y'all. Probably all y'all. But why did I really stop riding SE bikes? Well, everyone who puts in work on an SE bike, to me, is trying to get rec recognition from SE bikes, sponsored, or free bike. I knew I wasn't going to get sponsored, because uh, when I used to ride SE bikes, every everyone would ride SE bikes. My favorite rider on SE bike was... That did combos was one way Cory. He was crazy. But then he wasn't even sponsored by SE Bikes. He just got free bikes. That's cool. But in my head, if he not sponsored by SE Bikes, how could I get sponsored by SE Bikes? He was way better than me. Like, way better. He's still a better combo rider than me. Maybe overall. But. I don't put myself out there to compare to others. My intentions were not to get sponsored by SE Bikes. But just, I don't know, I was cool with Todd. After a while, after I started riding for a while, SE Bikes followed me, Todd followed me. I was happy. So about two years ago, the owner of Fixie Goons, Black Boy Fame, he seen me putting in work. Everyone seen me putting in work. And then the first Goon ride I went to, I was the only kid on the free wheel, on the 29er, on the BMX, as a matter of fact. Everyone else was on the fixed gear. And my first goon ride is on YouTube. It was crazy. It was so fun. And you can see I was the only BMX in there. I'm going to leave it down below so you can go watch that video. That video hit a million views. That's so crazy. It was uh, recorded by Sad Films. He don't record no more that much. I wanted to come back, but go tell him to come back. Anyway, yeah, he seen me putting in work. He told me, I don't think it matters now, but it was a secret back then. He told me, all right, Daisy, I'm building a bike. It's going to be a fixed gear, and it's going to be a 29er. It's going to have disc brakes, but they can't run brakes. It's a 29er. But, yeah, he said he's going to make his own bike. I, I had no idea it was going to be with Throne. I had no expectations. As dope, I was with it. So uh, maybe a couple months passed. Jimmy's Bikes in Bowen Park. At the time, I didn't know about him. I probably met him a few months after me and Fam talked. Me and him was cool, Jimmy's Bikes. We started talking. He was like, hey, I think Throne wants to, uh, wants to mess with you. Don't cycle us. I was like, alright, that's dope. You're lying. <laughs> Cause they didn't don't Throne Cycles didn't follow me. I never really I didn't follow Throne Cycles. I didn't really uh I didn't really know about them. But I seen some of their bikes. And I didn't know I didn't know Fame was talking to Throne about making a bike either. That's cool. But yeah, like I said, I had no expectations. I was like, alright, Jimmy. Alright. And he was like, I'm telling you, I'm not lying. I was like, alright. Make it happen, cork it. And then later on, Throne Cycles followed me. I was like, hold on. But like I didn't I didn't uh after Jimmy told me I didn't go hit up Throne Cycles, I didn't go ask him questions. Later on, they just followed me out of nowhere. I followed back, they was liking my stuff. And they commented on my picture, there's like uh I don't know what they commented, but they commented on my picture. I was like, whoa, that's crazy. And then I hit up Jimmy like, yo. Hey, you was right. Alright, my bad. And you like, I told you. That's crazy. 
And then when Jimmy told me about the room, I thought it was something else from what Black Boy Fame was talking about. Jimmy Spice brought me a throne. So he introduced me to the throne. He took me to the owner. We talked. We talked about me getting a sponsor. We talked about a new bike. That's when I found out that Black Boy Fame was making a bike with Throne. When this happened with Throne, this was months after me and Fame talked. So I kind of forgot about that. But that, that day when I found out that Throne was making a bike with Fame. So then I put two and two together, I was like, that's crazy. And then I told Fame, like, yo, what's the deal? There's no real reason why I stopped riding SE bikes just because I'm not going to ride both. I obviously can ride both bikes, but I'm not going to promote SE bikes if I'm sponsored by Throne. That's just not something I would do. If I'm sponsored by, by Nike, I'm not going to go rock Adidas. Even though I'm waiting for that Adidas sponsorship. Um. Anyway, yeah. So I put down the SC bike and started rocking the throne. And started rocking the throne. It's been about a little over a year now since I got my first throne bike. And it's been pretty cool. It's been lady. We've been traveling. We've been doing different tours, meeting new people, bro. It's been lady. Traveling, I love to travel, so Throne was offering me a sponsorship. SC Bikes, them being a huge brand, having so many hits on SC Bikes, I realistically thought that they would not have sponsored me. Because I wasn't the best rider out there. I'm just known a little bit for being different, having some different swag. That's what I feel like I'm known for. But... They wouldn't offer me, they wouldn't have gave me a sponsorship. So I'd rather work with a smaller brand than a bigger brand just because obviously the bigger brand has more leverage. They can leave you if they wanted to. Smaller brand, they're more willing to work with you and keep you with them. And I I, I would rather help a small brand grow to be that big brand. SC Bike's been around for what 40 years I think I think Throne's been around for not that long I don't I don't think they've been around for like five years now. I, I think it's been less than five years I might be wrong but the goons been out for about two not even two years like a year and a half and we booming right now we're doing pretty good we have bikes everywhere we have riders hopping on goons it's so crazy it's so crazy seeing the love but uh so if SC were to offer me a sponsorship if they were to tell me a hey, come to SC leave throne I probably I would not do it you gotta stay there until you come up period so they can have this they can have this great bike right here SC bikes can have any brand can have this great bike but throne or any other small brand can make a great bike like that or or better than that. I I, I would want to be the one that would help them do that. You feel me? Instead of leaving them. That's just how I'm built. But yeah, me and Todd are cool. It's crazy. Look, the first day I got my goon, my black goon. That was a little bit before the opening Beast Mode 2 ride out. So it was a little bit before I went to Oakland. I was on the phone with Todd. And he wanted to give me the first, one of the first beast modes that came out, the 2019 beast modes, the great one. And he also wanted to give me the yellow fat ripper, one of the first ones that came out. So I told him, I'm, I'm with Throne now, I'm sponsored with Throne. He said, yeah, I get it. He wished me good luck. And that's, that's it. We, no hard feelings. Let's just say if Blockboy Fame didn't make his own bike or didn't make the goons, I'll still be riding an SC bike. The monster quads are fire. Those are fire. But yeah. But if Black Boy Fame weren't to put me on the team, I'll still buy his bike. I'll still buy one of the goons. Cause that's game. Feel me? 29er, I I ride 29ers. I used to ride 29ers. I love 29ers. 
But I just wanted to fool y'all a little bit. That's why I stopped riding SE bikes. And that's kind of the story how I got with Rome. Just put in that work, go to all the ride outs, and be different from others. I was different because back then I was the only free will rider at a fixed gear ride out. That's one thing that made me stand out. But these days, these ride outs, at the fixed gear ride out, there's a bunch of BMXs, a bunch of fixed gears, a bunch of different bikes, a bunch of BMXs. You can still stand out. And be that dude that stands out. Because that's, where, that's what's going to make you obviously different. And different is good. So hopefully I'll kind of kind of fool y'all a little bit. And then if you like these videos where I'm, you're just staring at me. I'm not, I'm, it's my first video, me doing this. But if you like it, let me know down below. And then if you like my hoodie, this is from B-Scene and Reflex. One of my other sponsors, I love this hoodie. It's my first time wearing it because I got a different size last time. I thought it was going to fit, but it didn't fit. This is my size. I like this for real. These reflect. Let me take a picture. Let me see the back of it. Hopefully you see the back. And I got the sweats on too to match. I didn't even know that. And yeah, this is just like a little story how and why I stopped riding SC bikes. Nothing bad. Um, And the story how I got with Ron. I hope y'all enjoyed. I'm gonna leave all my links to my social media down below. I'm dropping new merch this summer. It's already summer, but I'm dropping merch soon. Just know that. T-shirts, uh, sweatshorts, bags, maybe, hopefully, some biker shorts for the ladies. That'll be super cool. But uh, be ready for that down below. CorgiClothing.com. Follow the Instagram too. It's in my bio on my Instagram. You can find that. But if you like this video, like I never made a video recording me like this. I only do like, you know, y'all already know what I do. Vlogs, action videos, release, traveling. But yeah, if you like videos like this, like it, subscribe. Comment down below if you think I should make more videos like this. Because I kind of like it. It's kind of hot right now, but let me know. Because I'm willing to make more if y'all like them. So, I'm going to see y'all later.